Nobody want to work a nine to five anymore. Nobody want to work. Actually, I do want to work, but I'm also don't want to slave, and I'm also tired of getting having to do all the work and seeing my counterparts make thirty k more than me and not doing any work. Hi guys. I don't know how long it's been since my last vlog. I got this curly wig on today, y'all. So I'm trying to Instacart. I've been struggling trying to get batches and then two popped up today so i was like let me go outside and like sit and wait and see if i can get some because two popped up but they were like 10 miles away and that was like 10 miles seemed like a like far for instacart even though the tip was good 10 miles seemed like far it's 10 miles far if y'all instacart let me know and i don't have a car mount so i'm holding this <laughs> but yeah we are in the car i guess i've been listening to some gospel music spend some time with god pray about it because you're gonna need some extra money um and we'll see but i'm struggling because i never get batches because i don't have the physical card i know that affects it and then they said they sent it and then it wasn't in my mail so i was like okay so i have to get it recent and then yeah i'm trying to get this maybe i should do it this way yeah i had to get a recent and then so now i'm just doing the digital card but it's like 10 miles for 14 dollars okay or no let me know because I'm trying to figure it out. Anyway, the next batch I get, I'm just take. Because I'm like, I need to make this money today. And I'll figure it out as I go. Anyway, I'm in my car trying to film any white folks looking at my face. I got to get some tint. Because I feel like I have so much peace in my car with tint. Like, I can't never just mind my business. Somebody always got to be minding my business looking at my car trying to see what I'm doing. I need some tint real bad. We'll see. I came outside, but the first one I got from my house, I was like, dang, do I really need to be outside? Like, if y'all Instacart, let me know how, what y'all be doing. Anyways, I'll check in with y'all later. I know I'm gonna hate this angle later, but I don't have, I'm trying to figure out how to freaking prop this up in my car without a thing. Should I just hold it? Let me see. It's getting hot in here. I'm finna have to lift my window up though. I'm at my window down. It feels good outside. Okay. And let me lock my doors. I just wanted to have like a, I don't know if I'm even keep this in the vlog, but I just wanted to talk about like where I am in my like life journey. Cause I know a lot of my stuff is like starting over and I am starting over like after the breakup, I took a lot of damage specifically to like my credit and my finances. They got depleted into the negative so far to where like, at the time when we broke up, I wasn't working. Um, I was doing my own business, which was working, but the weight wasn't being carried, basically, even though promises were being made. Um, so I started looking for a job, I think maybe, I looked for a job for like eight months, I swear. And it it took me all the way into December to find one. Um, and it was literally the second week after I found the job when he left me to pay everything um, and we were already like behind on stuff I had already started having to put um, rent and stuff on my credit cards and stuff so financially I'm fucked right now but you know I'm praying like there's a lot of lessons I learned from that situation but it is discouraging sometimes just because like it's not like I like balled out on like and got nice things and stuff like that it's like a lot of my issues came from trying to like not get kicked out of my house um, I'll kick that where I'm living at and I don't live in the same state as my family and we don't have space for me to go back home So it's not like a oh just go back with your parents or I don't have any other options basically type thing And that's kind of how my life always is. I'm gonna hate this angle so bad I feel like that's how my life mostly is or has been so far and it's why I get frustrated with people who complain and stuff like that because i'm like y'all i literally since i left home at 17 to go to college i never had a like backup plan or anywhere to go or anything like that and honestly i'm proud that it took until like all this time for me to have this bad of a setback but also i just it sucks that i have a setback at all and then with the economy and stuff like that it's just tough and then working for some of these people like my boss like when i tell you it's just like i keep getting jobs where one i'm like the only black person the pay differences is crazy i don't get paid enough i have like a wide scope um like i know when i worked for amazon i had 
a global position which i took four years to move up to i took four years to move from an area manager working overnight in operations to operations manager to station operations manager to program manager i had to interview i had to pod i had to do all this stuff and i did it but then when i got that position it literally they gave me the worst like areas to own and the areas with the most like gray area where no one know what they were doing kind of set me up for failure and it made me so stressed out and the mom got sick like that was the first time she got sick and they weren't like balancing anything anyways i'm saying all this to say like that keeps happening to me with jobs so like, with the marketing it's the same thing it was just like when i'm the only person in the entire marketing department for a million dollar company and also being an executive assistant on top of that and not making even like 60k a year like i, I feel like god is telling me to do there is something else i'm supposed to do and i keep trying to like work for other people and do it the cookie cutter like normal way and it feels like it's not what's working for me I'm going back to the point that i'm putting all this faith in god because i'm trying to figure out what the heck i'm supposed to be doing and i have a hard time doing that because i'm used to putting my hand on i'm used to being like well i'm gonna just work a 60 hour a week job because i know i'm gonna get a salary and i know my bills gonna be paid and that's cool and i've been putting a lot of my faith and stuff into myself and not god you know what i mean it's like okay well i can make this work i can do this so i was just doing that type thing so <clears throat> and i'm sitting over here in the parking lot and i think that's like a police car like suburban that's why I stopped because I'm just like talking to the camera and you turn go through the parking lot and go right next to my car to drive right next to it and get a little black dot somewhere there. like I'm just talking to my I'm just talking to my camera y'all leave me alone the devil <laughs> I'm just like overwhelmed and tired of like being in a situation with jobs and I feel like it's probably because I'd be like I'm just get a job I'm just do this and I'm gonna pay it instead of like putting the faith in God and letting God do his thing and not doubling back like okay yeah but anyway i just went off on a big like rant but it's like just giving y'all updates so i mean it is what it is but it's to that point where it's like the shit is old now the debt is getting old now and they not want to wait and it's going to collections and stuff like that but anyways y'all keep pushing y'all keep pushing and then just just a reminder to do what works for you because people like nobody want to work a nine to five anymore nobody want to work actually i do want to work but i'm also don't want to slave and i'm also tired of getting having to do all the work and seeing my counterparts make 30k more than me and not doing any work and i'm slaving when you work all the hours out that i have to work it's like less than 20 dollars an hour no like i might as well go work at mcdonald's or like um chick-fil-a if i'm gonna just make that out without the responsibility this season is called putting my faith in god basically and it's kind of oversharing but not really because this is my situation from like months ago but i'm dealing with like the things after or from like last year i guess um people don't realize how much toll that takes on your mental when literally everything around you is on fire things you work so hard for i work so so hard like y'all my family does not have money like i've been struggling since college i didn't have a phone I didn't have a car when I went to college. I didn't have nothing. I had to ride with other people to get up there to the college. I had to, my roommate at the time had to take me to even get a job in college. Um, and I really couldn't work because I had to go somewhere where I could walk. Like, and then I didn't get a job until two years into college. That was the first time I ever even had the money to do it. So I wanted to work in college, but I couldn't. So when I tell y'all the hustle on the ground has been like lifelong, like basically since I was able to do it, like it has. So, um, it ain't nothing new, but now I'm getting burnt out. And now I want to do, I'm in this point in my life where I want to do what I want to do basically. And not even in a selfish way, just like I've never felt like I've been able to do something that I really wanted to do or something that brings me joy in life. It's always grind. You got to do this. You ain't got no backup plan. You ain't got no car. You got to pay these bills, 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 baby. I've been thinking about bills since I was 17. Nonstop. I'm 30, about to be 31. Like it's, it's, it's different. <laughs> this and that, like, nah, baby, the struggle is real. The struggle is real. The depression is real. So for me to get up and say motivational things, like tell the next person to go for their stuff and like work hard and stuff like that, that's it's hard for me to encourage myself. So that ain't nothing but God. Like it'd be hard for me to encourage myself. It'd be hard for me to encourage myself. It's, so we gotta stay prayed up. I just been like praying more, watching more sermons and stuff like that. Cause I feel like it's a spirit. Like when people be like the strong friend, baby, I'm the strong friend. 
I'm the strong friend. People be like, oh, you posting this, you posting that. Baby, I be, th these are my hobbies, baby. I'm trying to keep going. I'm still not okay. Stop assuming my life perfect because I be posting shit. If you, look, high functioning depression. It's hard. I've been saying talking for forever, but I think I'm gonna leave it in the vlog. Cause I feel like it'll speak to somebody in some type of way. Um, you just really never know what people got going on. Like I've been going through the toughest season of my life for the last two or three years. And before that I had that terrible, terrible breakup. I'm still trying to heal from that. The, all of the trauma, like it's so much. It's so much. So y'all keep going. It's hard. I know you see people doing stuff and you think it's their life might be easier. My life ain't easier. But it's okay. I feel like God wants me to share my testimony for others. And I've always felt like God wanted me to share my testimony for others. But I was trying to wait until it was good and Gucci and looking good. Like, y'all, I'm rich. I'm over, got a big not, big house and then share it. And it feel like that's more of a prideful thing, too. It's like, I don't want to share why I'm going through it. Da, da, da. And it's like, I feel like that's the power in your testimony sometimes is to share things while you're going through it. Cause those be those raw emotions those raw feelings i feel like that's something else i'm learning in this season like yeah it's nice to get your big house and then be like oh i suffered for four or five years but i feel like it don't be hit as well it's still hit but let me know if y'all know what i'm saying <clears throat> so i feel like i'm being pushed to do that so i'm gonna try to talk more there's a lot i could say but sometimes you just don't be want to talk about it <laughs> anyways i still ain't got no instacart y'all hold on let me see